We're going to be proving a whole bunch of things, right? And um, to be more specific, you're going to write a whole bunch of equations like, you know, angles that relate to each other or lines, right? The equations that you write should match the reasons that support them. The equations that you write should match the reasons that support them, okay? So my classic example for this is, here's a, um, here's a triangle, okay? Here's an angle over here, and if I call that 37 degrees and that 44, that's completely off scale, but you get the idea, okay? So, find theta, right? find theta. What would be your reasoning for how your, what would be the actual property of a triangle that you use in order to find what theta is? Yeah, Doris. The angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, okay? The, I'm gonna write this because, so it's, to illustrate this is quite important, right? The angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So that's my reason, okay, that's my reason. My equation that sort of precedes this should exactly match what this is talking about, okay? So for example, let me give you an instance of, let's see if this will work, of a sentence, an equation that's true, but doesn't match this, right? Theta equals. This equation is true, it's absolutely true. It will give me theta, okay? It just doesn't match this, why not? Because there is, there's no sum here, there's no sum, this is a, a difference in fact, oh, it's a couple of differences, yeah? So yes, this will get me the right answer, but the line that should have preceded this, that should be attached to this reason is theta plus 37 plus 44 equals 180, okay? This matches this. In fact, it's the symbolic version of what this is verbally, right? They should match up. Okay. Now, are you gonna are you gonna lose a mark for saying this rather than this? Probably not. Probably not. But I'm not just in this. Like we're not. I just established we're not in this just about like getting you to memorize some rules so you can reproduce something correctly. I'm trying to get you to understand mathematics, right? And how logic works. This is the way logic works. This is the way logic should be. Okay. So construct things like this. This is a trivially simple example because it's easy for me to illustrate. Later on, it gets a bit more sophisticated, right? And when you construct this reason, when you think it, when you identify what reason you want, you need to construct this equation so it carefully matches so that it is clear what you are proving and how. Does that make sense? Now, just while I'm on this, I'll make a quick note, which sort of shoehorns into point two, which lots of people ask me about. Angle sum of a triangle. Um, I would highly recommend against writing this. Okay? Now, let me finish, right? The reason why is because what does this mean? And you're like, clearly it's a triangle, right? Like, look at my context and that kind of thing. Sure, okay, fine. But it just so happens, especially in the mathematics that we've been learning recently, that this thing means at least two different things that are completely different. At least two. Give me one. Give me one. Okay, first, it means change, right? It's delta, right? And then the other one, which we're kind of going to lead into, and I've mentioned before, is that it's equal to this. What's this guy? Um, That's the discriminant, right? So they use delta D for discriminant, okay? And these are completely different. Angle sum of a discriminant. Yeah, it's like, oh, what are you talking about? Now, you can use, you can use triangles, triangle shapes, to indicate triangles. Here's where you can use them. If your triangle is named, and almost certainly at our level of mathematics, your triangle will usually be named, okay? You know what, if it's not named, just name the thing, okay? Um, this is faster, this is faster to write than a triangle, like if you wanna really be nitpicky, okay? And I think this is clearer too, clearer, right? Like in a given question, you might have like four or five or six triangles, and which one are you talking about? It's all about trying to present something which is as convincing as possible, because you're trying to prove something. If you have a good diagram, right, and it is there with your proof, your diagram constitutes a part of your proof, 
okay? So if I've done this, if I've done this, and this is on my page, then this is totally legit. In fact, you might even see, um, I'll pull some out for you when it's time. Um, questions in the exam will often say, part one, Draw one mark. Draw the diagram in your in your blah blah blah, and then part two. Actually, do something with that diagram. Guess what? We are not actually trying to assess your ability to draw a diagram. We are trying to make things easier for you to construct your proof and for us to mark it and know what on earth you're talking about, so that you can put some labels on here and construct and whatever. Okay. Yeah. So if we labeled it ABC, but it wasn't originally there, and we start referring to triangle ABC, mm -hmm. that's okay. Yes. Yes, is the short answer. Now, uh, like I said, if it's a deductive ge um, geometry proof, it would be pretty sloppy in an exam anyway, if you got given something and there were no labels on it. You may have to put some extra labels on and you would do that on your diagram and you would make it clear and that would be fine. Okay. Any other questions? Jan, last one. Okay, uh, exa exactly the same, I would say. Um, it's worth saying angle doesn't come up as frequently in a reason, but sometimes it does. Um, I would probably not write that, right? Because like, like a triangle on its own, it doesn't mean so many other things, but it just looks, honestly, it looks like an L. <laughs> I could, students will write that. So I would probably say this is fine because that's pretty clear, clear what you are saying, whereas this, is not so much, right? Um, if you wrote this, would you lose a mark? Probably not, but that doesn't make it clear, right? Like we are not in this game just to try and minimize the amount of work to get the maximum number of marks. We're trying to be good mathematicians. So can we put a line Like angle and then put a line You mean like this? Yeah. You can, you can. Yeah. Um, I, will, I will say one more thing, which is about that, that whole transition where you're trying to like, oh, I'm like, more often than not, the reason why this is an issue is because I am in an assessment task that is limited time. If I had a million hours, I'd write out everything, no problems, okay? So I get that you're rushed, right? So here's, here's my, like my general principle, okay? So if you've got a question, and um, you know, there's, there's three parts to it, okay? And you're like, oh, I've, got, I've got plenty of other questions to go for. And I look at part A, and I'm like, this is going to require a time-consuming proof, okay? A time-consuming proof, and I know probably I'm going to run out of time if I spend all my time here, and I need, like, thinking time as well, right? What I will do is I will put down some really, really abbreviated proof. Like, I'll use stuff that I wouldn't usually, like, like, like this, right? And just get it on the page so I can move on, right? Now, if I have time afterwards to come back to this and write angle instead of, like, a little thing, then I will. Um, or if I have time to fill in like some of the, the missing lines which I was thinking but I just wanted to get down the answer quicker so I could move on, then I will. But if not, then if I didn't have that time, it probably was better spent on some other question worth three marks, right? So that comes down to an exam technique thing. Um, in fact, even further on, when we get, not right now, but like if you get into extension two um, and we're looking at like, you know, you've got a circle and there are triangles in it. So maybe at some point you want to talk about the similarity between two triangles which are in there and they are similar, okay? You know what they're gonna say? They're gonna do this. They're gonna say triangle ABC is similar to PQR and they're gonna say this phrase and you're like, what on earth does that mean? And that means uh, I can see, I can see it, I can see it, I haven't proved it, but now I'm gonna use the fact that I've seen it and I can build some other sound, clear mathematical things for which this is not the point. It's extension two. Similarity was years ago. This is not what we're assessing, right? But it does constitute a part of your proof. So you have to say it, right? Now, you'll ha if you have some time, if you have some time, you'll come back and you'll actually fill in why it's similar.